everyone, it's Tim Ria here live at Digital Health Summit CS 2014 in the Idea Life studio. We got a really cool company called Jiro and a friend, you guys came all the way from Russia. We have Vera Kozer, who's co-founder and CEO. Yes, that's right. So you had a long flight and now you guys have been working on some really innovative technology. It kind of borders a line of magic. What's your background? Well, my background is from consumer electronics and here in Jiro we are developing a really innovation, innovative t technology that's allowing to detect chronic diseases based on the analysis of motion activity. So we're both wearing, what, what devices first of all are you wearing today? Well, I'm wearing most of the trackers that are present on the market right now. Yeah. <laughs> yes, so it's Fitbit, Basis, Nike, Joe Bond, Body Media, all of them for sure. And we are using those devices to get the activity data from it that we then use in our algorithms to be able to detect diseases. So what's your secret sauce then? What is what 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 do you bring to the table that nobody else has on the market? Well, all the trackers right now they are counting your steps, they are counting your cal calories, but they do not really provide you any health insights. So what we are doing is we are really giving people awareness about particular health conditions, risks. We are talking about chronic diseases, metabolic, neurological, psychiatric, for example, diabetes type 2, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, really? etc. Yes. Just from regular sensor data off of... Exactly. That's from the regular data that are collected from the trackers within sufficient period of time, like one month. Interesting. So then, so then you guys have an API that can connect to the tracking data, and then you run it through a bunch of special algorithms. Yes. Well, we've launched our own developed platform, okay. so-called cl crowd research platform called Gurulab. Uh, we connect all the devices that have open APIs in our platform to be able to collect people's data, analyze them, and provide the results. So we just hit 2014. It's a new year. Um, we're seeing a lot of new products roll out. What's your kind of view of this next year coming up and the next five year, kind of three to five year program? Well, I probably wouldn't say about the five years perspective yeah. at the moment. We are still on the research stage. Yeah. So we've conducted the first study with the 3000 Fitbit users and we've published the results of it. They are, oh, wow. quite, they are quite amazing. We've proven that first of all, locomotion activity contains signature of chronic diseases. Second, that even the low resolution trackers that are normal fitness trackers, yeah, yeah. can be used to detect these diseases. Okay. And number three, we can detect particular chronic conditions with a certain accuracy. So we're now launching the next study with the 50,000 users with the different uh, trackers, partners. Uh, and we're hoping to collect the data till, well, within the few months from now, and then finalize our mathematical models and algorithms, fine tune them, and make the technology ready for the FDA approvals and nice. the launch. Yeah. Okay, so let's wrap up with um, your website. How do people get a hold of you if they want to partner or team up? Sure, so if you want to contribute into our study and partner with us, please visit getgiro.com and register your tracker. Is that it? Do you have any other things you want to talk about? Well, we also have a mobile application because one yeah. part of our study is uh, studying whether the data from the accelerometer of your mobile phone can also be used instead of the tracker oh, for, yeah, no, for analysis of your health. Yes, yeah, so you can also go to our website and download one of our applications for either Android or iPhone nice. and help us in our study and help us to make this technology available. All right, Vera, well, nice to meet you. I heard you guys are coming in with uh, Julian, Lynn, and... Yes. So uh, thanks for being on the show. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you.